movies have spiritual teachings within them. Hey guys, I just want to jump on here real quick <clears throat> and just talk about the movies. I mean, we have spiritual messages popping up everywhere. Uh, spiritual guidance, it comes out in movies and books um, and, and things that we do uh, through our own awareness. Um, and if you kind of look at the different situations and a lot of when I, after my awakening, um, uh, this is how spirit started talking to me because everything that I've gained up until the point of awakening, it uses these scenarios to help me understand because um, obviously source can't speak to you, you know, as we speak to each other, um, it's through intuition and guidance and higher knowledge that comes in. in um, I call it intelligence. Um, so for example, you know, the Avatar movie, right? So there's some truth in that movie um, about how this world is, right? Um, and that we're in right now. And it's like going back to our divine connection and connecting into the power source, right? So Whenever situations outside of us uh, get rough, when we're separated, you know, the this, this struggles and the um, hard times, you know, uh, what do you do? You go back and you plug into the source, right? Because that's the outside world, right? So you can look at the movie that way. You have Groundhog Day. Um, Groundhog Day was a great one for me. And I used to watch that all the time. And it's like, I don't know why I was um, drawn to it, but I, I would watch it a lot. Um, you know, life doesn't change until you change it, right? So great message in that movie, right? Um, and then when I was going through my awakening, the eat, pray, and love one was huge for me in the midst of all my awakening experience where she was suffering in the beginning and then she decided to, and I was literally actually in that scenario when that movie was playing and that was out, like I was literally going through that myself and I ended up moving to Florida, eat, pray, and love. <laughs> she ended up going to like Bali and stuff like that around the world, which I did. And I ended up just going this to Florida. But my awakening came, you know, that was the, um, from my awakening into that. So it was a, like a simulation of that, but in a different way. Uh, surroundings weren't uh, the same, but um, it was very relatable to my situation. And that helped me um, get through that. And so that was one that was very helpful for me in my awakening journey. But a lot of movies, um, simulations will have the um, spiritual guidance in, in, in them. Um, now, the Avatar movie, you know, I really wasn't called to watch that um, until after. I know it came out before my, my awakening, but um, I believe. But I never, when it came out, I was never really called to watch it um until after my awakening and then i woke i i after the awakening i watched it and i was like oh i, I get it and i probably because i wasn't going to be ready for it then um everything comes when we're ready for it right and that's part of the cycles too so that's another topic you know um you know about uh when we're when we're ready to heal you know um, we have cycles so whenever we are going through certain situations in our lives um you know, uh, they do come back around, right? And so you may have gone through a traumatic experience and then maybe thought that you've dealt with it, but it'll come back and circle back around. And you know what? It comes back around for a couple of reasons. One is because you're in a different place than you were then. And so you have the ability to see it from a different place than you were um, because you've had growth and evolution and time to think about it and contemplate it and heal it, transform it. And so now it's coming back around to see if you're still going to see it from a new perspective or you're going to go back and be reverted back to the old way of viewing it and then uh, recircumvent it again in another cycle pattern. So it'll come back later and see if you're ready. I always say that like when something reoccurs um, in your life, it's an opportunity to see it from a different way and to come from a different perspective because it's no longer going on. It's of the past and now you're in the present moment and you've evolved and hopefully worked on and transformed and healed it um, and able to be in a new space of being where you're able to forgive and move on and heal um, versus where you were then instead of going back and reverting into that time and moment in the past and bring it to the forefront and then recreate it 
so it happens again in the future. And so these are the cycles. Uh, people call it the karmic cycles. Um, but really, for me, um, it's not in a way for you to suffer, but it's an opportunity for you to see it from a new perspective because you're a new person and being in that moment, right? And so um, when you're able to see it from a different perspective, you're actually changing the cycle. Um, so it's helpful for you. And the cycles don't come back up until you're ready because the universe knows when you're ready to see something from a different perspective. Otherwise, it wouldn't come back up and surface, right? So think of it in that, in that way when your cycles come back around. It's because you're at a place where the universe knows that you have the ability um, to see it from a different perspective and to make change. It's really up to you whether you choose to or not is a whole different ball game. So, uh, you know, with that being said, you know, wherever you are is where you are. But when you're in that moment of the cycle coming back around, where are you at that moment? So are you able to take it from a different perspective or not and make change? But again, you know, all movies, all things, all scenarios always have a spiritual guidance within them um, to share lessons and teachings. And it's like, you know, the silver lining in all scenarios that are um, maybe traumatic or create suffering in your lives. There's always something positive in that, whether it's uh, your life situation, it could be a movie um, that you're watching that can help you if you're feeling guided to watch a movie for whatever reason, you know, um, you know, definitely do that. You know, just follow your guidance. Um, but you can use um, movies um, for awareness because they always do have, you know, something in it that's going to give you a lesson or teaching. And that's the beautiful thing you know, about the yin and the yang, the dark and the light, and, you know, the different aspects of everything. Because even in a movie, um, you know, I'm trying to think Lucy, the movie Lucy, right? It, in there is a lot of spiritual, um, spiritual knowledge, you know, about the time where it's playing. That's your lifeline, right? When you're seeing that clip, they're talking about time and space when they're off is before they get... Um, for those people come in and raid. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has a lot of, but you have to have, um, a lot of times you have to be ready for that, um, to become aware of that. Because if you're, if you haven't had the experience or the knowledge, you're not going to be able to see those spiritual teachings in a lot of the movies and a lot of things that are going on in our lives. Um, to be able to pick up on that, you know, and, but that's how the universe communicates with us through, um, things like that, you know, spiritual messages that are put into movies, a reason for making them, actually um, are wanting to create a movie uh, myself, you know, and then um, I don't, if, whether that's going to happen or not in this lifetime, I don't know, but um, it's something that I would be liking to do, you know, I think that would be cool to write a screenplay and then have a movie um, to do that. But anyway, yeah, uh, you know, Definitely check out the different movies. See if you can see any spiritual teachings in them, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But a lot of movies do have these spiritual teachings in them. Um, and just wanted to pop on and, you know, mention that and see, you know, maybe go back and watch some movies and see how that relates to you. Because every time we watch a movie, um, we're always getting something different of it because we're at a different place, right? So the eat, love, and pray one, right? When I was going through that whole situation, you know, that helped me at that moment. But then when I went back to view it afterwards, after my awakening, I got a whole different view from it, right? So it does change based on where we are. It's not that that thing actually changes. It's we that are the ones that change, right? So, all right. Happy journeys.